Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So Texas Tech has upset the rivals Texas in overtime 30 to 27, which means Texas is no longer the number one ranked team in the country. So let's go ahead, take a look at the current top 25, and Oregon is going to move up to the number one spot. Virginia Tech at number two, Florida at three, and TCU got a vote. They are at four. Texas is going to drop down to number nine. Alabama moved up to six, and then Boise State is going to jump into the top 10, sitting at that 10th spot after a 52 to 3 victory against Wyoming. But for our game, no top 25 contention here. We're taking on Alabama AM. Hopefully, we can get our first win of the season against another FCS opponent. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the gameplay. First play from scrimmage, we end up get being hit as we try to throw the football. Second down, one go ahead and go with the receiver reverse to Horn. He will get a gain of about nine yards. But on third and one, we hand it off to Bray on the fullback dive. This one is stuffed. So we do decide to go for it on fourth down this time. We're going to go ahead and go with a QB sneak. This is going to be Hickson, and Hickson will be able to pick up a first down. So that's going to keep the drive alive for us. Now the very next play, Hickson dropping back, looking to his left, and that will be Anderson making a great catch. So second and four now. Hickson is going to hand it off to Austin, who had a terrible season so far. He's going to pick up a bunch of yards on that play. Now it's going to be third and seven a couple of plays later. Hickson sees the pressure, but he's able to throw a strike to Anderson, who's holding on to that one once again. And a couple of plays later, we're going to find Austin on the swing route, and Austin will get our first touchdown of this dynasty mode and of the season, you guys. So we finally finally are able to get onto the board. We're up seven to nothing in this matchup. But here comes Alabama AM. They're on offense and right away they're gonna find their receiver on that slant route. Able to come through with the reception. Now two plays later in the second down. They're gonna find the receiver again and he will pick up a first down on that play. So now they're looking at the second and one. Go with another play fake taking the shot into the end zone and just like that this game is all tied up at seven apiece. We're back on offense. This is Hickson. He's going to go ahead and roll out to his right. He will decide to keep this one himself. He will be brought down. But the bad news is Hickson once again is going out with an injury. He will be out for the remainder of the ball game, which means we're going to have to send out Taylor out here once again. A 52 overall rated quarterback. Wasn't sure if I wanted to go with Jones or Taylor. We decided to go with Dedrick Taylor. And he is not a thrower, guys. If you've seen the last episode, you know he is very inaccurate with the football. And you will see this very early as we try to throw that slant. He threw it to the inside. That caused the incompletion. Then on third and eight, we decided to hand it off to Austin because we know we're going to have to pound the rock if we want to win this ball game. Third and ten now. We have to throw it right here. We're going to go ahead and scramble with Taylor. Take a shot down the field. And this football will fall incomplete. We have to go ahead and punt the ball. Back to Alabama A&M. So now they're taking over here in the second quarter. And their quarterback is going to step up in the pocket. Look for the drag route. He's going to find his man. And that will be a first down. A gain of about 20 yards. So now third and six. They drop him back again. Taking the shot down the field. And another completion. But they're going to fumble the football. We are going to pick it up. And look at Cooper go. Try to use his speed. Get to the outside. And Cooper's going to try to take this one to the crib. But he will be pushed out of bounds. About the 45-yard line. But a great play. We're taking over in great field position. So Taylor looking to his left, and once again, his inaccuracy are going to come back to Harlem. That one falls incomplete. Right here, we're going to try to throw the ball on the run. I don't know why I'm throwing it on the run, but you already know this is going to be an incomplete pass as well. So, Taylor dropping back, looking to his right. This one is going to be dropped. This time, the receiver had the opportunity to catch it. Couldn't hold on to it. And here comes Alabama a and A crazy throw right there, but that will set up a third and two attempt. And this football is sailing over their receiver's head. So they have to punt it. We're back here with Anderson to return the punt. He's going to go ahead and feel this one from about the 40-yard line. Take this one to the right side. And Anderson is gone, you guys. Nobody's going to catch him. This one will be a punt return for a touchdown. And we are now leading this ball game once again. 14 to 7. That is the score. 55 seconds does remain, though, in the second quarter. So here comes Alabama AM coming down the two minute drill. And that's going to be number 13 coming up with that reception. And they're already in Alabama State territory. Then right here, taking the shot down the field. We're able to actually deflect that one down. And that will set up this long field goal attempt, which will be good right down the middle. And that is going to take us to halftime. So 14 to 10 is the score. Alabama AM and got the football first, but we were able to hold them to a three now. So we are taking over. And this is Austin using the speed. Juking past a couple of defenders. 
and he will pick up a first down after a gain of about 13 on that run. Right here, we're gonna hand off to Austin again. Like I said, we have to pound the rock, and Austin is gonna pick up a first down on that carry. So looking pretty good here in the second half. Hopefully, we can keep things going. Austin again gets another carry up the middle. This time, he gets a gain of seven, but then he will pick up the remaining yards picking up a first down on that next play. But right here, we decide to go to the air. Taylor's gonna roll out. He decides to keep this one himself, and he will fumble it. Alabama a and picks it up, and nobody, I mean nobody is going to catch him. He is absolutely gone in Alabama a and They are gonna take the lead for the first time in this ball game. They're now up 17 to 14, but we're back on offense trying to go ahead and score a touchdown and replace the points we just lost. This is Austin once again. Making the guy miss and then getting a gain of six on that play. Then Taylor rolling out to his right. This time he will end up taking a sack. So now it is third and nine. We have to go right back to the air. Hopefully we can convert taking a shot down the field. And this football will be dropped by Anderson this time. And Alabama A&M is going to take over. So they go with a play fake. Taking a shot down the field. And this one will be caught. We had great coverage on the play. He's able to come through with the catch. Now two plays later in the second to go. They're going to throw a touchdown strike right here. Team number 13 in Alabama A&M. It's starting to pull away with it. They are now up by 10 points in this match. 24 to 14. On our next offensive position, we come out in a wild can Hand it off to Campanella. And he will end up picking up a first down on that play. Right here, Taylor dropping back. This was a dangerous throw, but it will result in a first down for us. So now 11 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Austin taking this one up the middle, and Austin will pick up another first down. So right here, first play of the fourth quarter. Austin with a nice stiff arm, and then he will pick up another first down. So we're putting together a very good drive here. Austin once again spinning past the defender, then running over a defender. That will be another first down on this possession. But this is when things start going a little bad for us. Austin right here gets the screen play. Goes absolutely nowhere. Bad throw by Taylor. Then right here, this one is almost intercepted, but it's all good. We're going to go ahead and set up for the three points. The kick is up, and the kick is going to bounce off of the upright, you guys. We are going to miss it. We are still down by 10 points in this game. Only four minutes to go. We have to show up our defense here, and we have to come up with a stop but right away. Taking a shot down the field. That one will be completed. Then right here, to jump back again. And once again, it is number 13 making the reception. So now things are really not looking good for us whatsoever. 13 making another reception on that play. Now only three minutes to go in the ball game. They're taking another shot down the field. And this is going to be another first down for Alabama AM. and And then why not go ahead and take a shot near the end zone at number 81 this time? Makes the reception. So now we need a goal line stand. First and goal, we're blitzing everybody. And that's going to be a bad decision because that will be a touchdown strike for Alabama AM. Them. So 31 to 14. That is the score. A minute 53 remains in the ball game. But look at this. We're on the kickoff return. This is Anderson finding the holes. And Anderson is going to take this one to the crib. So that does help us out just a little bit. We have to come up with the stop. We were able to, but now we only got 44 seconds to score two times. This is Austin trying to break some tackles right here. And now he's trying to get out of bounds and stop the clock as much as possible. We have no timeouts remaining. Now only 21 seconds remains in the game. Third down, we're taking a shot down the field. Why not? And this one will be caught by Horn, a diving reception. We have no more timeouts. So now under 10 seconds remaining, we're throwing it up to Horn again. And he is making that touchdown reception, you guys. But now with seven seconds left, we are down by three. We have to get this onside kick. And look at this kick, guys. He didn't even try. That's going to be the game. Alabama A&M falling on that onside kick. And we lose again. I thought this would be the game we will get the victory. Alabama A&M is celebrating. They pull off the upset one to them, apparently. And they're over here jumping Gatorade on the coach. They are storming the field. They're doing all that good stuff. And once again, we are going home with another loss on the season. So a very bad start. Not the way we want to start off the season. I know this is going to be a long run, but we need to get a win. We need to get some type of luck at some point this season. I'm not trying to go 0-12, you guys, but it's definitely looking that way. Our quarterbacks... um. Without Bruce Six in the Allen's at this point, looking kind of terrible. We had to give Austin 20 carries, 112 yards, which is a lot for Chase Austin. He hasn't had any games like this all season. So hopefully 
Our run can get better. Our offensive line is terrible. We need to figure something out, you guys. But that is definitely the plan. I hope you guys are enjoying this process. It's going to take a while, but thanks for being along with me. If you guys do enjoy this video and are enjoying the series, please go ahead and leave this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace. Thank you.